The annual Walleye Festival in Port Clinton. It is the official starting place for the summer season, but not this year. Instead, heavy rains and high winds send floodwaters into the festival grounds. And now that the sun is out, News 5's Caroline Sweeney found people starting summer anyway while also lending a helping hand in that flood cleanup. Port Clinton is the classic lakeside town. Picturesque in the calm moments, devastating when it floods. It always seems to rain at least one day on Walleye Festival weekend, but usually we can salvage the weekend, but this one was just too much. Too much wind, too much water, too much mess for vendors to clean up alone. Just need another set of hands. Okay. I think we're kind of folding it. I think it's kind of going through the middle. The mound of twisted metal and tattered covers, unsalvageable. It's just heartbreaking that it ended up this way this year. Jody Regal and her husband Dave were part of a small group of volunteers. We worked at some of the uh, COVID vaccine clinics, and that group sent out uh, a group email wanting to know if people could volunteer to help. So we, we sent a response back right away and said we would help. And so here we are. There were about 10 people in this citizen cleanup crew. Well, luckily we got our boots on, so we're good for that. They had um, a professional cleaning crew come in. They've been working like for 36 hours, I understand. So they had a lot of this cleaned up. The group spent an hour moving the rest of the debris to a place where machines could easily reach, even though the walleye festival was canceled because of the weather. Take a load off your feet here to roll a derby race. The Memorial Day Carnival on the lakeside was still going on. People were on the rides and sliding into summer. All good signs, say Jody and Dave Regal. They're starting to bounce back. Now community members are keeping an eye on 2022. We're hoping next year will we'll be good and things will, will go well for them. And on the lake to stay calm and cooperate next year. In Port Clinton, Caroline Sweeney, News 5.